Welcome to another edition of Hub City Times Presents. I'm your host, Peggy Sue Beslick, and my guest today is... Hi, I'm Stacy Schultz, and I am the director of the Marshfield Area Community Foundation. And Stacy, we're here today to talk about a new award that fortunately, me being at Hub City Times, we're a part of it also. Right. So the foundation and Hub City Times and... There's a couple other parties involved. Um, I know Hotel Marshfield, mm -hmm. and I'm missing somebody. Uh, United for Community Wellness. Sorry. Right. Yes. So really, it started because you and Chris approached me uh, based on some work that we did with United for Community Wellness, um, trying to um, promote kindness in our community with a couple of different campaigns that we did with that program. And so then you guys said, well, how about if we do some type of an award for a student that shows kindness? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. So, you know, we met a couple times and kind of figured out some details and criteria. And, and now we've launched this first year of the award. So it's exciting. And the award has a name. It's the Good Heart Award. I don't know if that was you or Chris that came up with that. but I think it was a little bit of all three of us. Yeah, I know. It was really yeah. fun coordinating that together, wasn't it? I yeah. mean, we came up with a logo, and we came up with a name, and then we got Marshfield, Hotel Marshfield on board um, to be a sponsor and help us with the award night. So, yeah, it's really fun. It's exciting, and it's just promoting kindness. So that's great. And, and so what is what does this award look like? What I mean, okay, can I apply for it? No. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> little I'm past, old. A little past your time there. So we you could have used the fact that I work for Hub City Times. That's true. JC, well, that's why. Okay, that's why you can't just because you work for Hub City Times. But no, we really uh, and again, we kind of just talked through this process. But we decided to focus on a high school senior. Um, and we wanted to really promote kindness that they maybe have done throughout their high school career before they graduate. And we didn't want to limit it to just one group of high school seniors, but we didn't want to start too big either, remember? Yes. We were like, oh, let's do like central Wisconsin. And we, we, we were to, trying to cover you all. <laughs> yeah, we slowed down just a little bit. So we're just starting with Marshfield High School, Columbus, uh, RVA, homeschooled kids, anybody within that Marshfield community. Um, that's a senior and that has exhibited kind of above and beyond kindness in our community. So whether that was through their employment, um, through volunteer experience, you know, helping other kids within the school system, <coughs> excuse me, and we really wanted to open it up to who could nominate them. So it's not like they're applying for it, if you remember. Right. They're, they are nominated. Um, and so it could be one of their peers that nominate them. It could be a teacher. It could be an employer. It could be somebody that they volunteer for. Um, the only one that can't nominate them is like mom or dad. <laughs> so, Darn it. <laughs> um, and we've had a couple questions like, can we nominate more than one person? And we're like, well, sure. So um, the United for Community Wellness group, the one that kind of started a kindness campaign in Marshfield, they're going to be the, um, the committee that decides who the, the recipient is. And we decided that it was going to be an award. And um, so instead of giving a cash reward out to the student, we're going to let them choose a nonprofit of their choice. And then the foundation has contributed $1,000 that they then get to give to a nonprofit of their choice. And then you, the part that you worked on. Um, so Marshfield, Hotel Marshfield will be having a banquet kind of thing yeah. uh, for that the winner mm -hmm. and their family and close yeah. friends. So right. it's kind of cool. And thank fun. you to Hotel Marshfield for helping us do this good heart. They right. have a good heart in helping us. Yes, they do. <laughs> and really, I mean, that's why it's so fun, right? Because all we're doing is promoting kindness. And, you know, we know that students are doing great things. And I think it's just good to recognize them. And, you know, they're so busy their senior year. And I think that sometimes, um, you know, we, we forget to thank them for all the things that they do for us and, and our community, and we want them to come back to our community. So this is just a, a, a good way to round out their senior year. And yeah. so what does it look like? So if I have a senior, mm -hmm. once again, Marshfield, Senior High, Columbus, mm -hmm. or homeschooled. Yep, or online. Or mm -hmm. the online schooling, yep. but it does have to be a, a Marshfield resident. Right. This year, we're, we're hoping to build <coughs> it up bigger in the future. Um, mm -hmm. But as our first year, that's what we're going to do. Um, so if I know somebody that meets that criteria, they've done something great that I just would like to tell 
someone about. Right. How do I go about that? So you can reach out to me at the foundation um, and you can email info at marshfield.foundation. It's super easy. So um, if you've seen any of the ads in Hub City Times, you can see that you, you're just nominating someone and really it's 500 words or less. But I can go over, um, and so I could, it's not a formal application, it's really just giving you some guidelines. Um, let's see, so like 500 word limit, uh, giving details of how the person has uh, affected the community with kindness. And then, uh, let's see, we have exhibited kindness, which has positively impacted our community. How have they been involved in the community, which has promoted kindness? Uh, meet the def dictionary definition of kindness, for example. The Oxford Dictionary uh, defines kindness as the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. Uh, perform kindness selflessly, explain their enthusiasm, passions to exhibit kindness, and live kindness by example, how they have encouraged or challenged others to be kind, and how they've gone above and beyond in their kindness. So really it's writing a, a 500 or less word essay um, on the kindness that you've seen. And so if they volunteer for you, it might be nice to reach out to some of their peers or a teacher and, and get some more examples because that's only going to help strengthen the, the nomination. And so somebody could even like nominate their neighbor if oh, you absolutely. Know, maybe an elderly that yep. a, a senior helps out, maybe mm -hmm. yard work or sidewalks in this great winter weather that we've been having. Maybe there's somebody doing something like that and we want to recognize those kids. So anybody yeah. can nominate. Yep. It's just a, besides the parents. Right. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think it's great because I think that there are kids that do that kind of thing. You know, they'll go over and, and shovel their neighbor's um, sidewalk every time and, and not look for any um, accolades for that. You know, they don't look for the thank yous. They're just doing it because they know that it's nice to do that for somebody. And I think for them to get recognized for them is a good opportunity for them. So. Yeah, and just show an appreciation. And maybe it'll stem somebody to kind of think about helping out yeah, we and talk about that. We talked about that today at Rotary, even just those, you know, passing it for paying it forward, you know, and yes. doing something just, you know, with the hopes that maybe then somebody else will continue that kindness. And I just think that's good for our community. We all need kindness. Yeah, exactly. Are you sure I can't apply? <laughs> but you can nominate somebody. Oh, that's right. <laughs> and I even had. Um, uh, a high schooler asked me today if they could nominate somebody, and I was like, yes, absolutely. So I'm looking forward to just seeing the nominations that come it in. It is exciting. And, and going over those, so I think that'll be fun. So I should talk about the United for Community Wellness group a little bit and who that is. I would love that. Okay, so we formed that group during COVID, and it was just a group of us that got together and said, well, we didn't actually get together. We got together virtually because <laughs> that's what everybody was doing. But we said, we think that we really need to focus on mental health in our community and how are people doing during COVID? How are they doing having to suddenly be online and, and um, separated from other people? And so it was um, the Marshfield School District, United Way, myself at the foundation, um, and Children's Wisconsin. And we got together and what we did is we gave um, different social media posts to businesses so that they could, you know, spit those out to their employees. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, just as far as like, um, you know, things that you can do on your own or with your family during COVID or ways to handle depression during COVID or what are signs of suicide um, and how to have those conversations. So it really was the gamut from, you know, what to do when you're bored to right. some significant mental health um, and how to address those. So after COVID kind of, you know, ran its course for a while, um, last year we did a kindness campaign where we gave stickers and gift certificates to businesses and said, just give these out when you see somebody doing something kind. And it was really fun to just have businesses be able to have $5 Mackey gift certificates and give to a customer, say, if they picked up, you know, somebody's purse that somebody dropped or a drink spilled or something like that. You know, it's just nice for them to be able to give those out. Um, so that was fun. So when you guys approached us and said um, that you wanted to do this award, that just seemed to make sense to have that group be the committee yeah. um, to go over that. Because um, we still are doing kindness um, activities, and I know United Way with uh, this um, came up with some great... You were in one of the, the commercials that's going to be coming out, weren't you? 
don't Were you a part of that? So. Okay, no. Okay. Anyway, they've done some kindness um, commercials that they're working on, and we're working on some other social media and billboards to just promote kind of kindness. So, Well, and now going back to the award for a second. Yeah. So all the applications, we're requesting them to be in by February 14th. Yes, Valentine's Day. I don't Day. know why the good heart would ask for it on February 14th. I think Chris really <laughs> Chris really liked that, excuse me, Valentine's Day. Yes. Uh, so someday that it might evolve and the award is actually on Valentine's Day. But because we kind of just came you know, together with this, I think she just wanted to tie it in somehow. Yes. Which is great. I yes. mean, it is. It's a heart. So it's a good heart. So yes, applications are open. Or not applications. Nominations can be submitted now through February 14th at the foundation with us. So. Correct. And the Hub City Times were running the ad telling yes. about it. So if there's any questions on how to nominate, mm -hmm. or they can reach out to you or yeah. myself at Marchfield Hub City Times. Yep. Um, but that being said, then, okay, so all the applications are in. Yep. Hopefully we get a lot of them. Yep. Hopefully. Come on, people. <laughs> <laughs> but that being said, now what happens? Well, then this nomination committee, so the United for Community Wellness group, will get together and we'll go through all the nominations and then we'll select a recipient. And then um, I think we'll probably do something to highlight all the other people that were nominated so that we can, you know, still spread. There's lots of kindness going around. Correct. So, um, that we'll do that as well. But then we will let that student know that they are the recipient and then we'll set the date for the, I think we have a date set for the dinner. Maybe. Yeah, I think, I, yeah, we're close. but We're in the working practice, yeah. people. <laughs> we're not going to give that date quite yet not because yet, but we forgot. Yeah, and Be seniors are really busy. You know, they got a lot going on their senior year, so we want to, I think we were trying to get it before all those other awards ceremonies come into play, but yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we'll see. I mean, we could have five nominations or we could have 50 nominations. So I think it's, it's exciting that we're doing this. I'm excited too, and I'm very appreciative on behalf of Marshfield Hub City Times, mm -hmm. appreciative that you came aboard to help us with it, and that these other organizations are helping us do this, yeah. because I'm kind of a go big or go home kind of person, so I want to see this evolve to yeah. other communities. Right. I want to involve those other mm -hmm. communities, because just the concept of what Marshfield Hub City Times believes in, local matters, yep. and to keep it locally, local not just being Marshfield. Mm -hmm. We love Marshfield, but we also love our surrounding communities right. too. Oh, I think we'll definitely expand it. I think we just wanted to kind of get our feet wet and see how it goes this first time around. Oh, we should mention, because did they, oh, yes, did they donate the award? Yes, Events Etc. Okay. is donating the award also, yeah. so we're thankful to them yeah. for partaking in this also. I mean, these guys, everyone's taking a risk with us right. because this is something totally new. Right. That three women sat down and <laughs> came up with great. a plan over coffee. Yeah. <laughs> and we don't know what that looks like yet. We just know that we kind of have a heart theme and that uh, events, yes. et cetera, is going to help us design something for the student, right? Correct. Okay. Correct. So that's exciting. So once again, I mean, just to summarize, it's a good heart. Yep. We want it to, just go over the criteria one more time for people. Okay, and so we are looking, it's the Good Heart Award, and we're looking for uh, people to nominate a high school senior uh, that goes to Marshfield schools, so either public, private, online, um, or homeschooled. Or homeschooled, yes. So you could live in Spencer, but if you're attending Marshfield High School, I mean, that, that kind of falls into that criteria. Um, and then there's a 500-word 500 500 essay uh, to submit to the Marshfield Community Foundation. And then the nomination committee, which is United for Community Wellness, will select a recipient. And then that recipient will have a dinner for them and their close friends and family and um, be able to give $1,000 to a nonprofit of their choice. So, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Sounds I, good. I think we kind of covered it I all. I know, <laughs> I think we did pretty well. So, yeah, again, info at marshfield.foundation is the email address. You can certainly call and ask for questions, any questions that you might have, but um, as well, you can just submit an essay to that. So pretty, we're making it pretty easy for people, really. We like easy. Yeah, We've we got a busy like world. We want to recognize yep. those that are helping out others, but we want to make it simple. Yep, yep. And next year, we might be looking for more sponsors because if we want to expand it, we might want a little bit more help there. Stacy, can you tell me a little bit about the foundation itself? I mean, 
I'm fortunate enough to have met you and yeah. know what you do, but our viewers maybe aren't familiar with the foundation. Right. Okay. Well, there's quite a bit going on, um, but this was a perfect fit as far as, you know, we want to, our mission at the Marshall Area Community Foundation is connecting people who care with causes that matter to enrich the community um, as a whole. So... Um, the way that we can do that is by giving as much money as we can out to the community, right? And we do that through a variety of different um, funds that we have at the foundation. Um, the one that this kind of falls closest to is kind of our scholarship program, although this isn't a scholarship, this is an award. Um, you know, we have about 70 different scholarships. I think we gave out $140,000 last year in scholarships. So students graduating from high school, and this is uh, our service area, so this isn't just Marshfield. Okay. Um, so we have scholarships that go out to students. Um, we have for high school seniors, we have some for uh, returning students, and um, even some for like juniors in college that are more specific to that. So um, there's a lot of work, those are open right now where students apply, it's an online um, application, which is really nice because they submit one application, when they hit submit, it applies for you know all all the different scholarships we have not just they okay. don't have to do a separate application for each one so um, many people probably know about our project specific funds so like when the athletic facility was built when the pool was built the library um, those entities will have a fund with us so that we can help take care of all the pledge payments um, we can you know we'll take the money that's at the foundation and then we can help pay their bills so it just keeps everything organized. Um, those projects we're really excited to be a part of as well. Um, and then we have um, designated funds. You're, you might actually be learning something here. I, I <laughs> am actually. I gotta okay. be. I, so we have designated funds where somebody has established a fund and instead of saying, oh, well, this year I'd like to give, you know, 500 to this organization or 1,000 to this organization, that fund is established in the name of the organization. So whether that's Goodwill or, um, you know, Columbus High School, it automatically, you know, our spending policy, which is at 4%, 4% of the value of that fund automatically goes to that organization. And it, okay. it's lifelong. So it'll, they know that that money's coming every year. And then the last, the, well, we have a couple other funds, but another one we have is called the Donor Advised Fund. And um, that's where um, a donor will come in and they will start a fund and um, they invest it with us. And then when they want to make donations, then they call us and say, you know, take some money from my Donor Advised Fund and give it to Ronald McDonald House. Okay. Or, so they get to choose where they want that money to go. But as well, if I have a project that's come across my desk, I can call them and say, are you interested in you know, supporting this? And then I could call three or four different donor advised funds and, and get that funded. Um, the other thing we do is community grants. And so we have quite a bit of money each year that we can give out in community grants. And our board, and we have some community members as well, sit on the grants committee. So people can apply for grant funding, which is new this this year. We've started a grant cycle. Okay. So the first three weeks in January and then the first three weeks in August, we um, <coughs> we accept grant applications, and then um, people can apply, and then we review those, and then for nonprofits, and then we award that money so that people can get projects done. Um, you know, uh, to give you some examples of people that have applied, um, we gave money to Pittsville Elementary for some outdoor classrooms that they wanted to do. We gave some money to um, the Historical Museum in the basement of the library because they were putting on an addition for the Adler collection. Um, Sleep in Heavenly Peace got some money to help with the beds okay. that they do. Yeah. Um, so we, we try to really focus on what the emerging needs are in our community. Um, you know, a couple big ones are food insecurity, which I know you guys are really focused on at Hub City Times, right? Yes. And, um, and mental health. So if, if, a, if a grant application comes across our desk that focuses on those, um, those are going to get some higher priority because we want to make sure that those needs are being addressed. And so how long has the foundation been around? Since 1993. Okay. So, so there's it's been really a few, yeah, it's been a few years. And the, and the Adler sisters are the, really the ones that started that. And then the community really got on board um, and, and, and grew the foundation um, and grew a lot of those funds. Um, we've had some, you know, tremendously generous uh, donors um, that have helped make that a success. Um, and I'm just always impressed with... Uh, 
the donors that come in and, and think about the community and think about the bigger picture versus, you know, if they've done very well, they're, they're thinking about that philanthropy and how to help out the community, which is great. So, And so if I want to donate to the foundation, mm -hmm. what does that look like? What I mean, if I is there a certain dollar amount that you need to do or a certain... So if agreement, you, right? So if you wanted to start a fund, like for yourself, or start a scholarship, that we look to be endowed, which is ten thousand dollars, which is a lot of money. Yeah. But, and we realize that you know that's not everybody. Not everybody has that much money to to put into a fund. Um, so what? Like recently, we started what's called the Children's Future Fund. Okay. And that's a fund where the community grants program will use that fund, but. But you can know that if you're going to donate $50 to that fund, that any of the money from that is going to be used to help children. Okay. So that's kind of nice. Um, we also, on our website, if you go and look at our funds, you could choose any fund. Um, and that's kind of fun, actually, because we had, um, well, a woman, her dad passed away, and she was looking for some place. She doesn't live in Marshfield, and so she was looking for some place to donate. And I said, well, you could look through our website. And she's like, oh, we really liked... Um, attending the parks when we when we came to Marshall to visit. So she donated to somebody's donor advised funds that for, is for one of, or a designated fund for one of the parks in town. And that donor called and said, why is somebody donating to my fund? And I said, because that's how it works and, and people can donate. So that fund can grow and then that's just more money that goes to that park. So that's, that's nice. So you can choose a fund that you want the money to go to, a okay. donation. <clears throat> One of the big ones um, that is very well supported is our Keep Kids Warm Fund. And we that's the only event that we have every year where we give out uh, coats to kids. Okay. And so we have an event every year where we give out coats and hats and mittens. Um, and, and that's very well supported, which is very nice. But that's an easy one where if somebody says, you know, I want to give you know, a $100 donation, and then they could pick a fund to put it in. So that's kind of nice. You can look at all of our funds and, and give to kind of what your passion is. So if it's animals, you know, there's a pet shelter fund. Okay. Um, if it's the arts, there's a fund for Chestnut Center for the Arts. So And, and really a phone call can help that too because somebody sometimes people will call and say, um, well, this is what I'm interested in, and then I can give them some options of different funds. If they just give a donation to the foundation, that money, the um, like our, our operational, it's called the Forever Fund, that money could be used for operations, but it also is, like last year, we used $20,000 from that to give out in community grants. So okay. it does get put to good use. So. And so I don't have to do that $10,000 that no. you were talking about. Right. I, I can do a $50 yeah, donation. There's absolutely. somewhere that it can be used. And yep. if, if there's confusion, go into the website. Mm -hmm. But I've been on the website, and there are a lot of There's funds. a lot of funds. There's like 200 funds. Yeah, and I'm yeah. kind of on the lazy side. So, you know, to go through that, I'd probably call you up and say, Stacy, yeah. you know, I got my tax return. Yep. and That's what we like. I, I would like to mm -hmm. make a little donation. And so... Yeah. We You'd just, help me. <laughs> right. And we just had a call today, too, because sometimes that RMD that people get, that required minimum deduction, you know, they're looking for a place to use that. And we can take those and we can put that towards any of our funds. Okay. So except for they, they can't go in donor advised funds, but people know that. Um, but yeah, so you could certainly do that. And then, like I said, if you have a pledge with us, um, we can take care of that as well. And we use Stripe, which is just like PayPal. Um, okay. So you could make a donation online as well very easily. So if there's anybody that's willing to help, yeah. just let Stacy or myself know. We are always looking for help to Sounds promote good. those good hearts. Yeah. Um, well, thank you, Stacy, for You're doing welcome. this with me. Well, thanks for approaching me. I think it's a great idea. Yeah. And thank you for watching another edition of Marshfield Hub City Times Presents. Mm -hmm.